Okay. Let's see if this is... Did I just put... Oh, I think I just pressed it four. <laughs> uh, I think I just pressed it four times. Which I think means... Yeah, okay. <laughs> but it's... It's, you know... It's working, though. But that is a bit daft. Okay, where were we last time? We we'd um we just met Basim. What's his name? Wasn't it the um the assassin? Well, yeah. Um, yes, we just raided this. Well, it wasn't here that we raided, was it? Um, yeah, it was. We came around here. We did this. We'd also spoke to the uh, the um, see the seer. Now we need to speak to Sigurd. Here he is. Eivor, you missed the opening act. Kurtve's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? Do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harold's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. <coughs> the Raver may give challenge to Kyrtve at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Is, is this what you want? Yeah, baby. They rob my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. Yeah, we will. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kurtwis should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. Let's end it. My blade must do the work of Skull's sharp scissors and cut short the cord of Kurtwis' fate. Well said, my sharp tongued warrior scout. May we all live to hear that saga song. <coughs> Eivor, a word. Yes. Hide them. This feud is not yours, yet you fight it all the same. I find that strange. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, have been fighting with Kyotve's order for centuries. You came from Miklagard to kill Chatbe yourself. We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Chatbe's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone, but the order to which he belongs. Something of a rival clan to our own. Hytham, I mean no disrespect to you or the Hidden Ones. But Chatve is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Chatve dies this day. On that, we are agreed. To watch me feed your innards to my raven. Look at this. <laughs> Once again, Abel Wolfkist appears to take a swipe at me. This. This is my father's shame. 
Today I take back the honor you lost. I call the home gang here against the Oathbreaker. I will make you beg as your father begged Wolf Kiss. Squeal as your mother squealed. You destroyed my life. I will take yours. You are weak, like your father was weak. Okay. Well, my stamina went real quick there. You dance better than you fight. You cannot avoid your death. One hit? Fuck. Rise, Abel. This is not your day to die. No, brother. Why do you refuse to die? We are not alone, Chappe. The old father watches. My blade will drink your blood. Your flesh will feed my wolves. Did he, he just fucking... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Missed that. Shame. You can just block arrows. Why? I wish I could block arrows. Ah, shit. That was a shit attempt. Oh. Fuck you, you cunt. Okay, okay, okay. Um, heal. I have a perch for each of you, Ravens. Yep. Keep bragging, gloating. Shameful trick, Wolf Kiss. You are your father's child. Oh, nice. That was a lot. Yes. Rise, Eivor. <clears throat> and awaken. Odin. What do you want of me? Go 
one your price will kiss the glory of my death. All for this? Your coward father is empty sacrifice. Heed the price of our war for kissed. The harvest of three dead generations. All their names unknown. It all means nothing. No. My clan will not be forgotten! Okay. I fought as I did. As hard as I did. To survive. For I know what awaits us in the end. Only darkness. <laughs> Into the crucible of your doom. Your father is dead, Gorm. His debts repaid. Open the gates and you will be spared. Wallow in shit, wolf kissed. Archers, take aim. Raven, show no mercy. Archers, fire. Um. Okay, I thought they were going to come and help us. Uh, let's see if I can get the loot from down here. Two silver, okay. I'm gonna turn that down because it's a bit loud for me. I don't know how loud it is for you guys, but for me, it's really loud compared to. I think it's just this, like. Just get one hit. Maybe. Maybe not. But this, like, um, fight scene is very, very loud for me. Okay. I'm going to go quickly open the door because it's probably going to help us more in the long run. Come on in, lads. Okay, that's awesome. That was actually really awesome. Get those ladders up, you son. Bring us up. Keep focused. Guard up. Woe bringer. Get up. I'm going to guess that's um, the guy that was on the tower.
I gr I grow bloody axes at my ass. It's okay. It's fine. How am I going to get in here? Um, probably going to jump down over here. Come up here. Yeah, that'll get us up here. No, no, get away from me. Yep, that was a... Uh... <clears throat> I think that was a game saying, don't try and just run through it. Kill people. But I'm scared. I don't want to just murder people. That's what the other Vikings are for, because I die very, very quickly. And I like it. Okay, let's actually deal with them. I'm going to actually look inside the buildings as well this time. Okay. Loot, leather, iron ore, both very, very useful. Okay, we'll deal with him in a minute. Not another chest, no. Okay. Rations are full, so that means we have some rations. Good. Chest, nice. Iron Star. That sounds interesting. Is it like a mace? Can you? Take runes back out. I don't know, but it's the only, th it's the only rune I've got. And. Yeah, I can unequip them and re equip them. Uh, um... Oh, I can upgrade things from inside my inventory. I thought, like, weapons I'd have to go to a blacksmith for. Uh, do we see... Oh, no, we don't see it. Okay. I mean, I, I think I'd rather it that way, because... Just look at that. We look a bit goofy. Um, let's have a look. We should probably go back and get the gold, uh, the um, wealth once we're done with this. Oh, it, it count, I think it counted our, um, our, op our little open as a checkpoint. Nice. And on the doorway is open. Probably got to actually, you know. Um, one up here. Nope, nope, nope. Hmm. Nope, oh, there's the doorway open. The blind pursuit of vengeance has made you predictable. 
You are a shadow of your father, Gorm. Weak and witless. And you will leave this place as ashes on the wind. Will I? Oh, I probably will. Where's Gorm? A coward, Gorm flees. <coughs> His father dies twice today. Assault complete, Kyotve's fortress. Nice. Right, let's go collect all the wealth and shit. Um, that's up here. So what we want to do is we want to go up here. Until we can get up to the um Okay, it's up in the waterfall. Nice uh, texture. That's odd. Not available during current memory. Oh, that's that's why the that's the whole like Assassin's Creed bloody. Um. Normally have like the the shimmering wall that has like the poly polygon. Shapes. I think that's just this game's version of it. Okay, so we can't go to that get that piece of wealth yet. That hurt. Maybe we just need to speak to Sigurd then. <coughs> okay. Wait, we filled up on rations, haven't we? Me being forgetful. We have the day. The Eivor, the breath of battle rises from my brow. The skulls will sing of this night. We have won the day, but Gorm escaped, fled north to King Harald's domain. Let that bruised piglet run where he may. His father is dead. His clan is no more. We are the masters of Ryavike. The toothless cub may grow to be a dangerous wolf. Eivor, stop. And listen. You have reclaimed your honor. Enjoy the night's victory. Tomorrow, we will celebrate. You're right, brother. You are always right. Kuthormu, relay news of our victory to your nephew, the king. I have done so already, Seeger. You'll be more than pleased, and will ensure you pride of place at his holding at Ulrichstad. Tell him we will come, battle flushed and singing songs of glory. Keep company with kings, and you will soon have a crown of your own. <laughs> if the fates have spun it so, linger here and loot what you can. I will bring news of our victory to father before he leaves for Harald's Althing. Oh, maybe it'll let us go up there now. I know, Zoom. Another time. Okay. We've got some skills. 
Oh god, there's even more trees. Let's see what they do. Automatic carry body. Speed boost in longship. <coughs> A slide. Start a fight with adrenaline filled. Looting arrows from archers. When you're wearing gold wolf stuff. Assassinate damage. Very nice. Melee damage is very nice. We don't have any poison yet. Uh, we probably want to build up towards advanced assassination, I'd say. Being able to... Um, Kill bigger enemies with assassination is probably going to be very, very important. Very nice as well. Okay, he said loot everything we can. Let's hope we can go up here now. I'm going to guess so by the fact the... Um, the texture's gone. Yeah, we can climb up here now. Nice, into the cave we go then. See what we can get out of here. Um, that is pretty slow. Oh, a book of knowledge. Uh, that's where you get the abilities from, isn't it? And it is a... Okay. Like a... What... Basically what um, Kyotve did to us. Where he ran at us and... Well, you know, tackled us. Okay. Um... Nice. We'll go get the rest of the... Um... the wealth from around here as well because because I think in the early game it's going to be very very important for us um, wealth there, uh, wealth there uh, got it I wonder what the uh, <clears throat> I wonder what the silver one is. Um, yeah, I, and I should probably uh, swap this out. As cool as it looks, it um. It's a bit too slow for my liking. Must be equipped in... Oh, that's the Danax. We don't want that. Um, Two-handed again is a bit too slow for my liking. And I'm a bit more of a dodgy person, dodge person than I am a um, shield person, so... Might as well go to... to um, Two wield, dual wield, two handed is not my thing. Um, is there like an entrance at the top of this? Can I? 
Oh, I can probably... Yeah, that's what... I could do it on either side. So I'll loot the chest and a carbon ingot. That is very, very nice. It helps us upgrade our stuff. Nope, nope, drop, drop. And the game. So I think <coughs> what it is, we can upgrade each item bit by bit in two ways by the looks of it. Um Okay, yeah. So we upgraded this one and this one to both su superior. And they both have four upgrade slots. Everything else that's fine is just one. Upgrading it to superior is what makes it look cooler and gets it more things like rune slots and abilities to upgrade more and then got it. Um, let's go for armor because we need more armor right now. Don't have the materials for anything, I don't think. No, none of them have the arrows. Um, okay, so there's, that's where the silver is over there. <coughs> Don't think a horse is going to come to us. Treasure map. Oh. So he didn't call it to us correctly. So there is. Show me. Looks like there's treasure over here. But it doesn't want to show us. Okay, whatever. We can. Go back to Sigurd, which means we need to go over there. That's a bit of a ways off, but it looks like it'd be faster to go via horse than it would by ship, so we'll go by horse. Also along the way we can pick up this little bit of wealth here and go up to the synchronization point and get that sorted as well. Oh dear lord! Fucking hell. Wolves are dangerous. Okay. Come back, wolf. I need to loot you. Oh, the other one's down here anyway. Okay, it might be better to stay off the horse. Because 
they rinsed my health immediately. I was trying to attack them off the horse, but it just didn't work. I think she p tried punching the air, not um, attacking. I like how my um my cloak has stayed wet up to the point where I was I presume in the water. Okay, come on. Come on, Abel. You can climb faster than this. Oh, there's two pieces of wealth up here. Nice. I'm not going to uh, try and 100% this, but I'm going to try and do as much as I can without losing interest. Because <clears throat> the one thing with Assassin's Creed games is they have so much of this, like, go find things in this, 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 this area, that it does eventually start getting pretty dull and boring. But I find it fun to begin with. Um, I've only ever tried fully completing an Assassin's Creed game once, which was Assassin's Creed Two or something like that. No one wants to find all those feathers ever. Okay, so we're in a restricted area. Survey the area sooner. I can only see one person, and it's the one with the wealth. Okay, fuck you. Carbon and get nice. Um oh there's what see you, old friend. He does say something, doesn't he? Um. No, no, that's not the one I wanted. I think the game's just a bit bugged that we've picked it up off him. I just don't think it realises. But we'll get back to climb to the top of this mountain and then <coughs> collect the rest of what we've got to collect up here. Then do the synchronisation point and then carry on. Where, how far from signalization points here? Yeah, we should be good. God damn. 
Oh, it's beneath us. Oh no, it's miles beneath us. We stood directly above it. So it's probably in a cave. Yeah, I feel like that would be boring to watch. Me jumping off a cliff looking for a cave after climbing up said cliff and then climbing up it again to get to the synchronization point to then continue walking along the mountain to try and get to Sigurd, yes. I think I would just miss out. <coughs> We're not too far away from the synchronization. Might as well dismount because I can see a wolf or a fox or something. You're a fox, not wolf. Snow fox. Nice. Sorry, Fox. We need this. We need your pelts. That to make it so cute as well. Hankari Summit. Oops. You, you can do it. You can jump up. Go on. There you go. So it turns out the uh, the audio cuts out if I uh, accidentally click both the triggers in at the same time. Not triggers, um... And look sticks. Which is not what I'm doing. Um... I have a... Like... I suppose it's like a gamepad designed for the PC as opposed to for, um an Xbox or a PlayStation or anything like that. And it has a couple of buttons on the back and one of them is both triggers, not both triggers, both um, analog sticks. And I think that's what the camera mode must be set to is just both the analog sticks. Because what it was in the pre in previous Assassin's game, Assassin's Creed games, which I did have uh, annoyance with, so I changed it. It's the one just where my middle finger right rests on the on the controller. So sometimes I don't even realise that I like grip the controller a bit, and then I press it in, and there we go. Try and take a photo in the middle of a fight. Nice. Now we want to go to Sigurd. No, we want that to be suggested power level 280. We're 13. Okay. Ah, uh, nope, we fucked it. Okay. Oh. Yep. Can you please take a... You're going to make me do the whole slow drop, aren't you? You're not going to jump down to sensible places. You're just going to jump down the furthest you can without dying or something like that. Come on. Drop. 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 Fuck it. Okay, that didn't do as much damage as I thought it was going to. I thought it was going to kill us, to be honest. Um, okay, we'll drop down here. Maybe the snow. Release. 
Oh wait, was that backup? I don't think it'll let me loot it, which is annoying. Oh, it's okay. Maybe the boat would have been faster. We'd have to go around the whole thing, but I've been walking for a fair while and I've only gone about a third of the way. I suppose call the horse to us, but the problem is on the on these hills, they just I don't think we're gonna get very far on it before we're gonna have to dismount again. Yep, there we go. Um. Okay, what is this? Power to offer this sacrifice. Give me the strength to give to you. One sec. Oh no, it's carry, not loot. What is all this? My life, the fruit of my work, all gathered here, and now I lack the strength to throw it off this cliff. You carried everything up here, only to throw it all down. The horse did most of it. It is the only way I can send my belongings into the next world. My children will not bury it with me. They say they do not want it, but I know they will sell it all once my life burns out. Will you lend me your strength? Throw everything over the cliff. The farther you throw, the better their chance of reaching the next world. Is that how it works? Okay. First place. Probably should have aimed. Why is everything packed in straw? I did not want anything to break. It's gonna break, mate. Like, you're throwing it off a cliff. I don't That contains a bow given to me by Hafton the Black. After I put an arrow under King Sigtid's left arm. That sounds like quite the shot. He was aiming for the head, probably. That contains a silver harpoon head I received from King Harold for pulling Halfland's frozen body out of the ice. They are a generous family. Okay. Evidence going over the, the cliffs. Did I? The gods will get the idea. Thank you for your help. You did not have to do this. Kind and courageous people live the best lives, but it can be a difficult path to keep. I have tried to live well. It is enough that the gods know that, even if the name Harek Gamd is forgotten in Midgard. So, what will you do now that this task is done? Done? That was to announce my arrival. Now I leave this world. Enjoy <coughs> your life. Throw Don't jump off the edge. Oh, God. Wait. Thank you. Thor's hammer. That was a shock. I wish I didn't fucking help him now. That was... What is wrong with you, dude? <laughs> I'm in shock there. <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to just up and. Well, I, I expected it. But I wasn't expecting him to be right. Okay, I think. 
It looks like Sigrun's in there. Wherever that is, because that's not... Um, that's not where we're from, is it? I don't think it is. What was it? Um, no, nah, nah, it's not. It's not... Um, Formberg, that's it. That's it. It's... I can't read it. It's in... Oh, no. Horse. Oh, fuck. You're going to take the brunt of the burden for me. Hey, horse. How much, can, how much damage... How much full damage can you take? A lot more than me, apparently. You're floating in midair as well. Nice. Oh fuck. Yep. I think I think that's yep. <laughs> oh fuck's sake. Why am I such an idiot? I just wanted to see if it will if the horse would survive and we could go down. Okay. Shit. Not what I... I've fallen through the world. Yeah, it looks like we're going to take another... De no. Um. Okay, game, you drunk. Uh, main. Load. The auto save, yes. <laughs> I was trying to stop at the edge and the horse did not stop as quickly as I thought it would. So it just went straight over. I'm going to get off the horse now. So I don't have another horse falling. Uh, come on, jump over to this. Yeah, that's where you want to be. I'm just going to start. Slowly descending like a normal person. I suppose not really like a normal person at all, because I don't think a normal person would climb a mountain like this. Just, oh, for fuck's sake, I'm trying to. Nice controls game. I was trying to um, do this, descend like this, and it um, decided to jump off the edge. Like a mad game. Uh, don't do that again. Don't jump off again. Why have you started climbing? I don't understand the controls. Apparently. Because well, I don't understand the parkour controls apparently because they keep just jumping off ledges and climbing up instead of down. Oh, why did you jump? No, you. Mountain was a bad idea. Uh, so you know I'm gonna I'm gonna see if there's another way around this because for some reason the uh, the controls seem to think I'm I think they think I'm pressing A or something like that to um to jump, but I'm not. I'm only. I was only pressing the. I was only using the analog stick at the. Uh, when that jump happened. And that was just to get me to the edge to press B so I could just start descending, but it just. walked up, jumped off. Hey 
Actually, this this is probably the better way down anyway. At least there is no way down because I was getting frustrated there. Yeah, I know I'm under underpowered. But I don't have any other quests to do. I don't want to walk around just trying to power up. I don't like grinding. Okay. They arrived at the village. Torches, axes, and blades at the ready. Ready for the slaughter. To war! Ah! Is there a shadow on impact? <gasps> His insides are all outsides now. What a what a raid. Is there anyone else to just stab? Nope. some loot though Okay. Uh, <laughs> a successful raid. Yes. With your help, we slaughtered the Raven Clan for good. The Raven Clan, you say? Yes. Just like Shot the Yarl's story. One day I'll be just like him. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. I doubt it. Coffee's dead, so. Okay, we can get um, advanced assassination now, I think. Yeah. Nice. So we can't if we can't kill an enemy with one hit. Um, with a normal assassination, we can do the advanced assassination. Which I presume it will be like it was in the other games where it's not guaranteed but it does a lot more damage. Hello. Come back here, you little shit bag. K 
Okay, I want to see if there's a smith around here. Muddy Harvey in note. He's gotten loose in the house. Okay. There is loot beneath us. Is there a way into a basement or anything like that? No. Is it down here in a little cave? No. Is it down here? Nope. I probably should have read the rest of that note. I think the pigs have... Let me collect it, you... Ah! I will kill you. Thank you. It wasn't a pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, and now the telekey is gone. Um, where is the cellar? Show me what lies ahead. That's the big question here. Is there any fire around? Yeah. I thought I might be able to burn away what looks like the hay on the floor. Is the cellar outside? Oh, oh, oh. Is it beneath these? Nope. Where? The bloody hell is this cellar? I can see it down there. I mean, it's not going to be anything around here because... Oh, I'm gone. This might be it, though. Ah. If 
found it. Ooh, a ranged book of knowledge. Yeah, we'll put it on A. It's so strange that the um that it essentially This pot does not want to break. Okay. It's underneath the house, but there's no way to get into it through the house. Who would ever use a cellar like this? Okay, let's see. Um... That's a drinking game. Is there any blacksmiths around? Doesn't look like it, okay. Okay, it looks like Sigurd is in the, uh, the drinking area. We are strong, Ergi. Yes, strong with stink. You have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorm is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare to show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce. And Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. He's a seed stain on his father's trousers. <coughs> Wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim, watch over this one, and see that she warms herself with drink. I will find my father, and escort him to the longhouse. As you wish. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kyotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess. All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. Oh. Divert attention. Hide in plain sight. Is this how your brother operates? Yeah. Is this how your brotherhood operates? You sneak around in the daylight, stabbing your victims where they stand. Said like that, you make me blush. We are seekers of justice. Shepherds of man's will. We work in the dark to serve the light. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorm is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. <clears throat> a few things you should know before you step into his camp. Okay. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. I, I, I like that because the hide in plain sight thing hasn't been a thing for a while. 
Dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes, and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick or two. Okay, so we want to put up the cloak. Oh, let me like flick the um, rest of the cloak around around us. In the camp ahead. Okay. What were you thinking? Drinking mead on an empty stomach? I'm sure you want to walk and not um. Something before drinking that much. How does that go? Feet Oops, we went a bit too far then. The yeah, as I say, I think we want to walk and not run because that'll probably drag attention to us. You are her shit. Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? <laughs> you can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harold's truce. You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace, and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I'll give you no trouble. You were shed into this world without honor form, and you will leave as a turd dumped into hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. Yaldling will have started. Should have um been stealthy, probably. Oops, that's not what I want to do. That's what I want to do. I wonder if I press it, will it? No, it would just bring up the menu for a microsecond and then shut it off. I was hoping if if I just pressed it, it would um. Reactivate the last thing that I'd used. But shame for shame. It's not not the case. Okay, so we want to go speak to Sigurd. Come on, Eivor, let's go. Just assassinate him. He'd murder me. 100%. Oh, that's your one. Tell me Gorm still lives, Eivor. It pains me to say. He does. Thank you. His day will come. Oh. I hate long speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, <laughs> Halfdan the Black. A great man who achieved great things. They buried Halfdan's leg near our temple. The crops have never grown tall. <laughs> they buried his arms near ours, and we get nothing but a muddy river. I dream of something greater. A vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen. United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify and turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blooded before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, 
Who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald, but I will not be your subject. Tomorrow we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble girl. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this lord. We do not limp together, we fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Juvina. But I hold no grudge. Juvina, that's how you say that. Okay. My king, I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kjotveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjotve. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Backhout, you lie! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm. And a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Ava wolf kissed. You are Kjotve Slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? Kill him. I would send him to hell, as I did his father. Understandable. But a quick death is too good for a Draugr like him. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exile. Leave these lands by the next full moon, or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stepion Yard. And I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. But all things change, and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stebjorn's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. Um. Yeah, I'd say we're bound to Sigurd. My fate is tied to my brothers. Where Sigurd goes, I follow. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust, and I cannot stomach a lack of trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother Sigurd, and I bear you no ill will. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. Take tomorrow to think on this. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. <coughs> That's a very underhanded threat that was.
Ara's colors. He's already marking his territory. Marking? Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. <laughs> Ara may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. Oh. You there! What are you doing? If you wish to have words, come closer. Go, my eyes. Sigurd's probably inside bollocking his dad, but I'm going to. Before I go in there. Um, where was Gunnar? Gunnar was, he was up here, wasn't he? This way. And yeah, here he is. Hello. Uh, yeah, let me see what you got. Well, let's see what you can improve. Um, so we've got two carbon ingots. Costs three to upgrade that, one to upgrade these. So I think I'm going to upgrade the cloak. Which will make it look nicer as well. And we'll upgrade the gauntlets as well. Nice. Do you need anything else? No, because you can't sell... Actually, do you sell things as well? No, you don't, do you? Because I wanted to sell something to you before. And I couldn't. Do you need anything else? No, that's it, mate. Thank you very much. I will free you from this bond. And I will be ready when you need me. Okay. Now we've upgraded... A a couple of things a little bit more. Let's go speak to Sigurd. Open the door. Come in, but keep your voice down. We'll alert Harald's men. Where would we live? The English will fight back. The wash will never end. The English. Oh no. Two days ago, we rid this land of Kjöthve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward. To newer lands. To England. And there make a new home. A kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages. I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home. But the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? Cut this riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. Oh... Uh, I uh, will leave them because we want to be honourable. If you object, I understand. Let your father keep Chadvis riches. England will have riches and cargo enough for us. Good. I did not want this cloud hanging over us. It is a wise leader who considers the need of others. To England, then, before the day is out. 
Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. Oh, see ya. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed, and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. Okay, to England. To England it shall be. Speak to Sigurds at the dock. Let's go speak to Sigurd. I don't think... I don't think the long ship that we have is very... Um, very good at sailing across quite as far as England from Norway. It's a bit of a bit of a track on a bit more open water than I think this uh that little boat's capable of, but we'll see. Hey Bud, the wind favours us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure, as is the promise of glory. The act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. I am ready. Let us take to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd, what is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga in England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. It is easy to lose one's way on the road to glory. Do not let false victories blind you to what is true. You talk of false victories to me, old man? A sad old bear who destroyed his honor with one bent knee. The further I sail from this place, the louder I will sing. I will be his anchor, Lord. No, you must be his better half. May Agir bless your voyage. Okay, so we got some supplies. I was expecting to go with absolutely fuck all, but at least we got something. Let's go. The time for tears is over, you weeping sacks of wool. Put some muscle into those poles. <coughs> Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back route. Sigurd, what's our course? The sons of Ragnar established the yeah. coast. We set sail for that. Bragi, sing a song to lift our hoof. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent the season in their kingdom of Mercia, a temperate land. Lush and wild. By now, Mercia. Okay. Claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England, glory and destiny. To England. To England. For Valhalla. Assassin's Creed Valhalla.
Nice. Um... Ooh. Oh. Yes. Modern day. at the University of Cambridge, Dr. Sierka told a worried audience that scientists have few answers for them. Since the mass coronal ejection of 2012, the strength of the Earth's magnetic field has increased by a factor of 50,000. This has resulted in huge disturbances in radio and satellite communications, dangerous bands of radiation around the poles, and as we can all see from our window, an aurora borealis that never burns away. Unfortunately, we are stumped as to why this is happening. And if we cannot find an answer soon, it may change the way we live, the way we communicate, even the way we evolve forever. Dr. Sierka went on to say... Bought you more electrolytes? Oh, sure. Oh, new and improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? Okay. So I take it they're going back to the whole the world's going to end thing. For the, the modern day. You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. Um Anything else around here? Nope. Would love to play around, but I have bigger things on my mind. Did you get my tea? Some quality stuff here. Oof, mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an oh, if they brought back Sean and Rebecca. Really just dirty okay. Tea water. okay. Both of them. I don't care what you call it, Sean. Did you buy any? Of course I did, love. Hey, sorry about pulling you out. The generator was sputtering. That's fine. I needed air. How is the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable after a while. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. One of Abstergo's. That's good. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so... That's what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. Okay. Please enjoy your stay. Remember, all the garbage must be packed out, and please water the plants once a day. Yeah, I won't remember that. You gonna put this in the fridge, Sean? Of course. In half a minute. Remember, tomatoes go on the counter, not the fridge. Why would you put 
tomatoes on the counter instead of the fridge. Sean, don't forget to water the plants while I'm under, okay? I'll add it to the calendar. I'll tattoo it on my leg. <laughs> Although, to be fair, you should agree with everything Sean says because I think he's the only English one here. Strange message. An audio fragment sent from an unknown location to our encrypted servers. Nothing was stolen, nothing corrupted, just a quick deposit and gone. We got lucky this time. So what is it? A cryptic sound file. Voice unknown with a signal beneath it. The signal was a code, led to led to a precise spot where it, here in New England we we dug up and found Lord we struck gold. And good lord, we stuck troll. Well, silver. Dormant currency in the dark ages. Point is, it's a grave site. A Norse warrior dating to the 9th century, early 10th century. AD, a few centuries before the earliest known settlements. This is big news if we have it right. Questions main, how do we find it? Oh, so we're in New England, so we're in America. Here. Hmm. I wonder where in New England. Like, I've been to most of New England. Oh. American flag would have given it away if I'd seen that before. But I've been to most of New England. Be nice to sleep in a real bed when this is over. Why don't you just bring one with you? No, we don't want to use the laptop. It's quite nice. Soothing. We don't want to play that either. I went through hell to bring you here. It had better be worth it. Okay, let's jump back in. Enter the animus. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Okay. Sorry. Can you play the message again? We have the transcript. If you're looking for something, I can no, go and. No, I want to hear it. Okay. I don't mean to be cryptic. It's just that message led us here, to this place, to a Norse grave in North America. So those bones out there are the only lead we have. Our only chance at fixing this planet before it's too late. Here it is. I lived. I died. And now I sleep. And in my sleep, I dream. And in my dreams, I see an end to the doom that will grip the Earth once again. Find the wolf kissed. Find the mad one. Find me. And save us all. That voice sounds familiar, but I can't remember where from. That is. That pulse in the message. Are you sure it's just coordinates? Nothing else? Nothing I can find. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. England, 873 BC, no, AD, right? I just read BC, for some reason. There she is, England, our new home. Not a patch on Norway, but we'll make this land our own soon enough. I'm glad to see any land at all, and will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory. 
the kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Ramsey, take in your oars, all standing. Have you spotted something? Not yet. But let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Sail on. Yes. I'm ready for whatever these green-thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, do the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming? They do not, for they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No, no. We will speak with them, get the lay of the land. ...and carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there! Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single rune to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre! We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them. Like our sacrifices to Odin, the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him. That is the difference. Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off. Ritual drowning. Baptism, Doug. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all. I simply forgot. And someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much <laughs> in the way of treasure there? Always. Yes. They shape precious metals and cut jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. Um, I'm going to have a look at the map. Okay, yeah. Nice. This is very weird because, um, what is called Mercia is actually where I live. I live in Shropshire. It's called Tropshire now. It's not here. But. So I live in West Mercia. It's very strange. Seeing, you know. Your own home in, in the game. It'll be fun to get. But I get to go over here. must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dad. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. What's wrong with you? So we want to... Okay, so we want to deal with all of these guys who are in here. Best not to draw attention here. <laughs> Ammo is full. Good, good.
somehow. I managed not to draw attention to myself. I might have jinxed it. In for the finish. Won't survive, fool. <coughs> Flank the idiot. Press hard. Take you. Okay. Oh, missed him, fuck's sake. Nice sword. I don't get why we throw our, our axes and then we have them back straight away. <laughs> it would be nice if we had like particular throwing axes. Like I guess that's what the ability is, but we're just throwing, you know, our main weapon. And then it seems to duplicate back in our hands. Ammo is full. Is there anything else? Let's get you. Okay, just the chain. Just the chain. Um, let's go up here then. And then we'll get to the other side and. You want to bring the boat around? Yeah. Okay, let's get going. Fine work. Here. I say we go back, Sigurd. Give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dad. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and ale on hand when we arrive. We should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Ivar Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig, tender and juicy. <laughs> Ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dad? And he is happy for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empires. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins stopped the landscape. Every brick and stone tells the story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to be remade. We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, Dog. The ruins are not worn. They are tested. Look there, just ahead. Where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, we find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, pull back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. Not the army we hope to find? No. Let us get a closer look. Okay. Not good. Too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, lest they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a yard. And if they are foes, then we fight them all together. 
Makes sense. Who are these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Eivor! <laughs> on me! I don't have a twisted accent, do I? Feel offended. <laughs> Oi, what's this? A mess of filthy Danes befouling our riverways? You there? Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl of Hornberg. And you are men who do not take kindly to Dane invaders creeping into our camp. You'd best move along, pagan. Spare yourselves a slaughter. You threaten Norse men with a play of swords and expect us to cower? I have been eight days at sea without a drop of blood to wet my axe. So spare the chatter, Bakrout, and draw your weapon. Oh! Let's finish them! Kill these heathen! You have what you wished for, Dag. Bloody hell. Okay. Who are you? Oh. I thought I got it. The, uh... The stun then. I've heard so many um very, very British um just phrases while I've been uh, in this fight already. This is how I hope the entire game is. Just Brit saying you poxy bastard. I think I pressed the wrong button then. I meant to uh, use the the axe throwing, but I didn't. I did something with the bow. Oh, you playing dirty, are you? I like that ability. Ooh. Whoa, you tried stabbing him in the back. Okay, so apparently Brits are backstabbers. Not what I've experienced in my lifetime, but sure. Have a look around, all of you. I want no more surprises. Right. I will check the longhouse. Check the longhouse. Okay, so the um, I suppose you have a Nord swap Danes who came here before us. Are you with those brigands as well? Sigurd, Dag, in here. 
Those men are prisoners. You there! Untie us! Let us walk and we will not hurt you! Quite bold in those bindings. I like your spirit. We are very agreeable people, I promise. You need not kill us. Peace, friend. We have no need or wish to hurt you. What are your names? Yendi. I'm a merchant, not a bandit like those others. And this is Rowan. Rowan, that's right. I'm a stable hand, that's all. I keep horses and, well, I did. Till those brigands sold them off. They meant to sell us next, as slaves to the nearest beetle. <coughs> but I wrecked their eyes out before I let that happen. And how did you find yourselves here? We came to trade with the sons of Ragnar, at Halfdan Jarl's asking. But they were gone when we arrived. Unbind them. <coughs> you know the sons of Ragnar? Aye. Sold many a mare and stallion to the brothers. Good men. Always paid me fair. From the look of this camp, they've been gone for some time. Where will you go now? What will you do? Repeat my stocks. Start anew. I have friends and allies across the land to aid me. But it won't be easy. Every town and village needs a stable to keep horses fit and trim. I'll find my footing again, somewhere. What are you thinking? That we could use their skills as we get settled. Having access to trade and someone to tend our mounts would be a boon. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the Ragnarsons is a friend of mine. Right, Zag? Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. I like Dag. Rowan, I am Sigurd Jarl of Thornberg, son of Steelbjorn. This is Eivor and Dag. Both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay if you're willing to pull your weight. We'd be happy to, if only to get back on our feet. Then let it be done. The Raven Clan welcomes you. From strangers into friends into family. The others have arrived. Come. Okay. I have a good feeling about this place. Honored family, friends. Welcome to your new home. Already got a long house built. Hey, Gunnar came with us. work. A long house to rival any I've seen. Now come. Randvi has found something I would like you to see. Eivor, Sigurd, I give you England and its four kingdoms. Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria, and Wessex. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the sons of Ragnar have pushed further into Mercia, here. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? We cannot let that stand. What will we call this place? I might have an idea. Ravensthorpe, the village of ravens. I like it. 
poet in you sings once again. One day this name will be known throughout all of England. A name is only a <laughs> beginning. If we want renown, we must build. Expand. Agreed. We should begin with a forge. Can you help Gunnar get working again? We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors will provide, whether they wish to or not. Scarcely arrived, and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by asking. I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my dears. And what else have you found? Short notes, mostly. Scraps of plans. More skill points. It took some time to... Okay, let's... Um... Can I not get it? I want it though. Um stealth damage. Okay, let's have a look at like fighting. Yeah, well, I think we should get our fighting skills a bit better. Settling down. So we are in the village of Ravensthorpe, which is essentially in Leicestershire. Okay. And then <laughs> I love all these names. How is that? Is that would that be Siri? No. Maybe that is actually still pronounced Shropshire. Shropshire. Yeah. Just spell f funny. Let's go speak to Gunnar. See about getting a forge set up. Not a bad place, Eivor. Not at all. That's not bad, is it? Can I help you with anything? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking then? Good, good. How I miss those days. Ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shill splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you're the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the war of a river horse. Though you do remind me, I've found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes, bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you. And put it to better use than they did. Okay. And I think we'll go looting and pillaging next time. It's been fun. I'm really enjoying the game. It is great fun. But thank you for watching and uh, yeah I will definitely get some more of this in because I'm really enjoying it